isn't this nice? It started off already ready to go for us, all factored out and stuff. Y equals negative three times the quantity of X plus one times X minus five. A, we got negative three, negative three, which again, that means it opens downward. Anytime A is negative, it's gonna open downward. Uh, P, it says plus one, so our P will be negative one. And then the Q, mind your P's and Q's, it says X minus five, so that would be positive five. The X intercepts are negative one and positive five. Right, we get that from the P and Q. So we're gonna put dots at negative one and positive five. One, two, three, four, five. Sweet. Most of the graph is ready to go. We do have to find that axis of symmetry though. You could find the middle of that, or we can add them together and divide by two. Negative one plus five is four, divided by two is two. So two will be our axis of symmetry that will perfectly split that graph in half. Now when we're finding the vertex, remember we substitute in that value for x. So y equals negative three times x plus one times x minus five. Two plus one is three. Two minus five is negative three. If we multiply these all together, we get positive 27. So our x was two and our y is 27. Now, my graph only goes up to 10 here. So let's just say the uh, y values here are gonna go by threes. So three, six, nine, uh, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, will be right there, 227. So it's scaled. This graph would be a lot steeper if it was going by ones. Cool. Domain. Hey, what's domain for all quadratic functions? Negative infinity to positive infinity. The range is all of our y values, and now all of our y values are less than or equal to 27. So remember, that starts at negative infinity and then goes up until 27, and that is our upper limit there. Let's, let's try to get another one done. All right, so A is out in front, that's a one, right? There's nothing there, which means it opens upward. Uh, let's see, P is negative four, right? Because it says plus four. Q will be positive nine. So we gotta put points on negative four. One, two, three, four. Positive nine would be over here if my graph had 10 on it. So negative four. Nine. For the axis of symmetry, we have to add those up and divide by two. Negative four plus nine is five. Divided by two is 2.5. So right at two and a half, we'll split our graph in half. One, two, point five. Okay, that number, we have to substitute in two point five plus four. 2.5 minus 9. So we have 6.5 times uh, 6, negative 6.5. Let's see. I don't know what that is in my head. 42.25. Negative 42.25. So our x there was 2.5. Our y was negative 42.5. So we'll have to scale these by like four. So this would be 40. There's about 42.5. Gives us our parabola. Domain, all real numbers. 
range. It's starting.